The United Nations General Assembly declared 2020 as the International Year of Plant Health. Its purpose is to raise global awareness on protecting plant health and helping to end hunger. This is a great time to study agriculture now in Hawaii as we are in need of food self-sufficiency. Head cabbage is reported as the top volume producing vegetable and ranking the second in farm gate value in Hawaii at $3.9 million based on statistics of Hawaii agriculture in 2018. Diamondback moth is considered one of the world's worst pests that attack cruciferous crops such as kale, bok choy, cauliflower, broccoli, and cabbage. Diamondback moth has approximately 12 to 17 generations per year, inflicting substantial pest pressure. In Hawaii, farmers have experienced 20 to 40 percent of yield loss despite intensive attempts to manage the pests. Under severe infestation, cruciferous crops can be completely destroyed by diamondback moth. Continuous application of same kind of insecticide will lead to pesticide treadmill as the diamondback moth will develop resistance to the insecticide. Sitar researchers and extension agents have a long track records of developing diamondback moth insecticide resistant management programs. As a result, they are promoting an insecticide rotation program for Hawaii cabbage farmers. However, organic cabbage farmers are lacking the effective insecticide against diamondback moth. Thus, modified integrated pest management strategies are needed. Bacillus thuringiensis, or BT, was once widely used as biocontrol agent against diamondback moth. However, diamondback moth develops resistance to BT. Picture here is showing imported cabbage worm larvae die from BT, but DBM in the same field remain alive. Two parasitic wasps commonly found parasitizing diamond bark moth larva in Hawaii are Cortezer protella and Diadigma inslali. Diadigma inslali adapted to higher elevation whereas Cortezer protella is more common in lower elevation. These natural enemies never suppress diamond back moth effectively and they are also difficult to rear in the lab. However, avoid spraying breadth spectrum insecticide would keep these natural enemies in check. Entomopathogenic fungi, such as Bovaria bassiana, are effective in controlling diamondback moth. The reddish diamondback moth on the right was killed, whereas that in the middle is a diamondback moth cadaver loaded with Bovaria bassiana spores. Metarhizium anisopli is another entomopathogenic fungi commercially available effective against diamondback moth. Recently, combining entomopathogenic fungi with entomopathogenic nematode has been shown successful against diamondback moth in other parts of the world. Entomopathogenic nematode infect larval stage of moth butterfly as well as adult of beetle through natural openings and release mutaristic bacteria that cause the insect to die in 24 to 48 hours. Finding local strains of entomopathogenic nematodes from Hawaii is crucial due to Hawaii quarantine restriction on imported biocontrol agents as well as their adaptation to climates in Hawaii. Picture here shows that Inoculating a strain of Steinonema feltii from Hawaii caused 88% mortality of diamondback moth and 100% of imported cabbage worm mortality. However, foliar application of entomopathogenic nematode in the field is often suffering from desiccation, ultraviolet radiation exposure, and high heat. Sita researchers Sipes and Achar found that anti-desiccant like barricade and UV protectants like paraevinol benzoic acid can prolong the activities of entomopathogenic nematode as foliar spray. Another strategy that can work against diamondback moth is push and pull cropping strategies. Push crop should be the main cash crop, while pull crop should be more attractive to the targeted insect pests compared to the cash crop. We found that diamondback moth prefers to feed on mustard but not KK head cabbage. Thus, mustard can be planted at the border of a head cabbage field to lure diamondback moth away from the head cabbage. Research is underway to study how to integrate push and pull system with application of entomopathogenic nematode and fungi to manage diamondback moth in Hawaii organically. Stay tuned for future research update from CTAR.